Dr. Romano, isn't it sacrilege that an organic chemist is wearing a pathology shirt? I don't really think it's sacrilege, young lady. Um, all these sciences are all related to one another. Pathology is related to biochemistry and biochemistry is related to organic chemistry. So why don't we stop the foolishness and come around and maybe you can learn something by doing an organic chemistry question with me. This is a question that the entire group screwed up the other day in my study group. I made it in a synthesis, but I want to explain all the steps. Um, for the DAT exam, you need to know each one of these reactions. So I'm going to go through them and I'll talk to you about each step. First of all, step letter A is simply the halogenation. The halogenation of a cycloalkane. So as you can see, this is a free radical mechanism and we would simply put on a bromine. Product B, we're going to take A and we're going to do an E2 reaction. This is sodium methoxide and ethanol with heat, um, a secondary halide with a very strong base such as sodium methoxide, sodium methoxide, um, soda mid, any one of this with heat will always favor the E2 reaction and therefore I would get a cyclohexene. From B to C, I'm going to do another radical reaction, but whenever you see an allylic or a benzylic compound, you would always replace the benzylic hydrogen or the allylic, here it's an allylic, with a BR. So as you can see, for letter C, that would be this. You replace it with the halogen. So I've done an allylic substitution. In the next step, NACN with DMF. This is a slam dunk. The minute you see you got a great nucleophile, you automatically say to yourself, this is going to be an SN2 reaction. So we are going to replace this. I'm not going to worry about the stereochemistry here, but this would be an inversion. So we now put the cyano group where I've shown. Now, the last step I think is the trickiest. So this is D. Whenever you have a nitrile with a Grignard, um, we, we have a reaction like this in the destroyer, and for the grand finale, that's going to give us a ketone. So in the mechanism of the reaction, what we would do is we would set the nitrogen up for a leaving group. It would, it would come off as ammonia. So as you can see, the final product would be this molecule. Notice we have a ketone group and we have a cycloalkene. So this would be the final product. I hope that this reaction sequence gives you a good idea what to expect in the death. Halogenation, we did elimination, we did an allylic substitution, we did an SN2, and I polished it off with a Grignard. Okay, good day to you. I hope this made some sense to you. Okay, bye-bye.